Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in today's video, I'd like to share uh, specifically for new trainers, not necessarily young, but those who are still new in the industry, um, trying to figure out how to start off and how to basically uh, kickstart your training program and, and develop it and, and turn it into something that you can eventually go out and train people, offer to the to your target audience. Okay, so to make things simple, uh, to start off as a trainer, of course you will need to have your training program but to create that training program, you will need to have a few things in place. Uh, some people they go straight into getting the content, some actually purchase content, training materials from other trainers, from other sources. Um, I'm not saying it's wrong, it's okay, but eventually you will want to have your own training modules, you would like to have your own training materials and you know develop something that is from the heart, uh, out of your passion to deliver to your target or intended uh, audience, the, the target market. So. Where do we start? First things first, I will always advise the new trainers, the, the young trainers, to focus on finding what is the principle of your topic. Now when I say principle here, I mean uh, something that you believe in strongly, uh, some, some ideas probably that guides you in terms of how you see the subject matter. Um, for example, let's say you, you are very passionate about leadership but you are very young in terms of age and lack of experience. Remember, where, wherever or whatever uh, you face a, a situation where you lack in terms of experience, you can always compensate that with exposure. So let's say in terms of exposure, you've been going through some programs uh, in, in your youth and you know that kind of exposure, uh, TV shows that you watch, uh, books that you read and whatnot. So that that kind of exposure, um, you can translate it into a principle about the topic. Let's say just now leadership. So let's say you believe um, that leaders should serve. That becomes the principle of your topic. So leaders should serve. So based on that, um, you 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 firmly believe it and you, you you are very passionate to impart this understanding to others. So from that principle, you move on to the second part which is to uh, develop a hypothesis around it. So a hypothesis basically um, is, uh, it is it's similar to concept and theory but uh, it, is, it is where you lack in terms of evidence and uh, you probably would still need to have uh, some studies, further investigation, further, further detail, uh, looking into uh, to, to, to prove whether that particular uh, concept or theory works. So that, that is basically a hypothesis. So based on that principle, leaders should serve. So you think about a hypothesis around it. Um, so that is your starting point for, for the training itself. Um, if leaders serve, what happens if if leaders uh, uh, take up this understanding of leaders should serve how would it change uh, the, the understanding about leadership so that hypothesis then number three you work your content around it when we talk about content we are talking about what are the knowledge skills uh, and or behavior that would enable the person um, to you know apply based on the hypothesis, hypothesis to be able to uh, achieve the targeted outcome. So let's say the targeted outcome is for leaders to understand the fact that they need to serve rather than be bossy. So what are the knowledge that the leaders need? What are the skills that need to be practiced? What are the behavior that they need to display or showcase? So that becomes training content. Now from there, you would need to develop the training materials which are the tangible items that, that helps you deliver the lesson, helps you to uh, you know, impart the, the, the knowledge, skill, behavior and, and also uh, ensure that you will be able to achieve the proper uh, outcome, the lessons intended. So remember, those are the steps. Uh, 
get a you know, fine fine and get get a very strong grip of a principle uh, work out a hypothesis around it develop your content uh, to support that hypothesis and last but not least translate the content into training materials tangible items that you can use in the training session be it slides be it the notes handouts uh, props that you're going to use in the training and uh, whatever necessary okay so basically that's my sharing for today hope it helps you in your journey to explore the training industry regardless of age um, but if you are still new um, those are the four things again principles hypothesis content and also materials all the best assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh stay safe